there's another boy. I feel like we had a feeling that yeah. it was yeah. a boy. I don't know why. Yeah. I think we did the nub theory. They kind of said yeah, it. Yeah, they kind of said it earlier on. So we kind of always had a feeling it wasn't confirmed. But mm -hmm. yeah, it mm -hmm. wasn't a massive surprise. I, could, yeah. I always could see myself with boys. boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just so happy. I feel like I've been up and down with this yeah. pregnancy. Like some weeks I feel a little bit better. Some it just takes hold of us and I feel so tired very and fatigued. Hormonal. I'm very hormonal. <laughs> I feel like hormones do not agree with me. Like everything annoys me. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm getting there. Mm. I don't have a birth plan because I feel like hospitals at the minute because of COVID are really like behind. They're just not very organised and I'm, I'm having multiple appointments trying to find out like what's happening and I'm not really getting anywhere. I've still mm. got a few more appointments before I find out what's going on. What's going on. I'm really happy about it. I mean, I did, I, I'm not going to lie to you, I was a bit like, I wanted a girl for me, but I feel like Marnie wasn't fussed, but I was. <laughs> I was more like, I want a girl. She was like, no. I no, I, no, it's because, like, you, you wanted the attention from I a little girl. I wanted the attention that Brooks gives to Marnie. <laughs> and I thought if I have a girl, she'll give me that attention. But then to be fair, as Brooks has got older. Brooks is getting a lot better. Yeah. I think he's a mummy's boy, which I love. Yeah. But um, he's, he's getting... coming to me a lot now as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're really happy that mm. it's a boy for Brooks yeah. because yeah. we only wanted... We only wanted another baby for him, really, because yeah, we yeah. just... I was an only child. I didn't want him to be an only child. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the fact that it's a little boy, a little brother gonna for him... They're going to be best friends, aren't they? Yeah, so, and they're going to grow up together mm. and have a lot in common, and, and I yeah. think it's a, kind of the perfect kind of age gap. It's not yeah. too close. Like, we've been able to give Rox a lot of attention, do you know what I mean? And then we're having another one now. Yeah. He'll be nearly three in maybe six months, won't he? It's a two-and-a-half-year gap. Two-and-a-half-year gap, which I think is quite a good gap. I feel like Rox doesn't understand Yeah, he doesn't much really yet. get it yet. We're I trying to say baby and point them to Molly's but belly, he but he just, yeah, he just repeats I, it. When the baby's here mm. and... He'll he, know. He'll yeah. know. And he's really good with babies. Yeah, he's really he gentle with them. loves babies. And I think when, when this baby gets a little bit older and he can play with them, yeah. I think he'll be really happy. Yeah, yeah. We always said we wanted two. We always said we wanted two. Yeah, that is, that is true. I feel like if it wasn't for Rox, we probably would have just had Someone, one. Yeah. Because we are at a stage now where I personally think Rox is quite easy to look after. <laughs> I do. He's yes. not like, uh, he's went through that whole stage, he's a lot easier now. Yeah, he's a lot easier. I feel like, I feel like he takes after me when I was young. I feel like, like, I feel like we're resetting it, aren't we? Like, we've done that, all that, and then we're going to have another baby again. Go. Like, oh, we're not God. looking forward to the, the sleepless nights. <laughs> yeah, oh God. I feel I like feel we like have got a happy ending. Like, well, I feel like we're really lucky, we've got... Um, two healthy, beautiful children. Exactly. And, yeah, yeah, and we're, we've moved house. I feel like yeah. we've got a lot going on and we're really blessed. Yeah, definitely.